This is the plaintiff, Erica Phillips. She says she sold a 1986 Bonneville to the defendant, and the guy never paid her in full. The dude had excuse after excuse, and she's so darn tired of waiting around for her money, she's taking him to this court and suing his behind for the $2,000 she still owed. This is the defendant, Timothy Thomas. He says the plaintiff was about to have the non-running car junked, but he offered to buy it because he used to have an 86 Bonneville back in the day. He gave her 300 bucks cash up front, then tried to give her a check for the $400 balance about a week later. The kooky woman refused his check, so he offered a cashier's check. Same thing, she wouldn't accept it. Then the woman shows up at his door with a tow truck trying to steal the car. Who acts like this? He's accused of bailing out on a Bonneville. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff sold an 86 Bonneville to the defendant and got stiffed. But the defendant says the car was a piece of junk and says she literally wouldn't accept the balance of the deal and tried to get it towed. It's the case of No Mui Boneyville. Ms. Erica Phillips? Yes, ma'am. You are suing Timothy Thomas for $2,000 that you say he owes you for breaking an agreement to buy your Bonneville. Yes, ma'am. Now, you sold him your 1986 Bonneville? Yes, ma'am. For how much? Originally, I sold him the car for $700. Okay. And? Um, the situation with Mr. Thomas is we agreed to um, $300 upon me having the when car When did you sold. sell it to him for $700? February the 28th of 2014. And so what happens? He buys it for $700. What, what went wrong with the car in the meantime? The, the situation was the car was at my residence, and I had to move from the residence. The car had um, a head problem, and so it was not operable. So when we moved to the new residence, I couldn't have a car not working inside of the um, subdivision. So it was in the back of a lot. It was going to be repaired. Um, I was contacted by the gentleman from the lot advising me that someone was interested in purchasing the vehicle. And I needed right, so to get out of the So you sold it for $700. Yes, ma'am. The agreement that you make with him is that he'd pay you part now, part later, $300 right? $300 on the date that he picked. Um, we had the car towed to him, which was the 28th, and he had two weeks to provide me with the balance. Okay. Did you have that in writing? Yes, ma'am. May I see it? Sure. So he gives you the $300. Or yes, does he give it to your son? He gave it to my son. I was at work, so okay. I Okay, and then he's supposed to give your, your son is a title owner or you're the title I'm owner? I'm the title owner. All right, and so he, and then he's supposed to give an additional $400, and who's holding the title? I am. Okay, so you're not going to give him the title until he pays the $400. That is correct. All right, can I see the title? Yes, ma'am. Is this the original title? Yes, ma'am. This is the original, okay. All right. So, does he pay you the $400? No, ma'am. Okay, what happened? Two weeks come, by, go, come didn't hear from um, the, the, def, um, the defendant. Defendant. So, we were on the way out of town. My son was going to spring break. I was going to a family function. So, we allowed that weekend to go by. We then attempted to contact in reference to the vehicle. we advised that a bill came up. They didn't have the money available and asked could they pay us later. Okay. I, I noticed that the, what you signed here says if you don't come up with the money in two in two weeks, then uh, she gets the car back and you do not get a refund. Correct. You know you signed yeah, that. Right, right. Correct. All right. So the two weeks come and go, and there's excuses according to you. Do you get any texts from them? Anything that? Yes, ma'am. May I, I see those? Sure. Yeah. There is going to be texts from. I want the ones that are excuses. I can't pay you that. Okay. One. You is that? Might, do we look there, there, Okay. Offered to have payment ready by check to cover us both. He refused. To, what does that mean? Come on up. What does that mean? I offered to have payment by check to cover us both. What Let does me that speak. Mean? That meant I kept offering to pay him by check. At first, I asked, offered to pay him by um, cashier's okay. check. If he agreed to meet my husband at the DMV to make sure the title was clear because the first time when we received the car, we weren't aware that they were going to take a lien on the car. That's where the people told us at uh, the place that we're holding the car. So I want to make sure that the title was clear on the car. If my husband can meet you at the DMV, then we will exchange. If the check, if the title is clear, 
I had to give you a check, a cashier's check. You Okay, so you added a condition that he has to meet you at DMV and wait through your procedure. I imagine the son didn't want to do that. No, he did not want to do well, that. I don't want to do that. You want to go to DMV? You want to buy yourself another check? How do you, where do you come off changing the deal that you signed? Because you're signed, you, the deal just says, I'm going to give you the other 400 bucks. Did you guys have the 400 bucks after two weeks? Yes, yes or no? I did. Yes, we did. yes I did. Okay. Yeah, we had, well, yeah. why didn't you pay it then? I we, tried to pay him by check and he kept refusing. Well, you refusing. can't pay by check. What? Are you think I'm going to sell you my car by check and then you drive off with my car and then your check bounces? And that's right. what we were saying. Thursday, I even eat, pulled up my I'm sorry. account. Why don't you just go to the bank and get the money? Because his debit card was shredded at the time and I told him that. Uh, his debit card was shredded. And then, I, well, I offered to give him a cashier's check because he was giving me by 12 o'clock that Friday. And I was that trying was to pay already him by an extension of time. Stop a second. That was already past the two weeks. Exactly. Yes, How many weeks past the two weeks was that? Um, it was approximately three weeks after that. No. According to you, it's like five, six, seven weeks after. Yeah, it was, a, it was a, we were into another month and you have the text messages there. March the 27th is um, when we told you we were going to enforce the contract. Okay, March so 27th. she basically, just a second. So she texts you on March the 27th and says, sorry, back at work. Written agreement was with your son. You're wrong about that. I don't know why you say that. He also texts me giving me until this Friday. So this Friday would be March the 28th, and that's two weeks late. So that's four weeks' time rather than two weeks. Let me hear from you. Ma'am, uh, Judge, when I talked to her son, it was through her son. She okay. said she has no else to do with it. I want you to, to prove to me it. that you had the money on March 14th. I have um, my account in... No, I don't want your account. I want you to prove to me that you tendered the money to them and they wouldn't take it. Then you complied with this agreement. Can you, can you show me any text where you say, I have the money, come pick it up, or I have a check, I'll yeah. pay you yes. by check, let it click. No, no, not on the 27th, two weeks late. I want to see that on the 14th. All she's showing me is the 27th. Ma'am, but what exactly. I'm saying is we whatever paid you cash agreed to, the initial payment well, agree and to definitely it, and will not to, release the title with without agreement. guaranteed funds, cash, or cashier's check. We do not have to accept a personal check from you, and I don't feel comfortable doing so. You have advised that there is nothing more you have to say, and being the title is in my name, I will now enforce the contract. Please provide me the location of my vehicle with phone number immediately. So when do you guys go there uh, to try to tow the car. I believe it was the end of March. I did this small claim. Um, so that's when I parked on the side of his yard. I got out and I said, um, hi, Timothy, I'm Erica, because I had never met him before. I said, I'm Erica and I'm here to get my Bonneville. He, t he told me I wasn't getting SHI. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He told me I wasn't getting that SHI. And so I said, you, I said that, it got nasty by then. And if I was a man, we'd probably be in a different court right now. But um, it got nasty by then. No, because, no. Yeah, it got nasty. No. And then he, um, no. he, was, he was eyeing. Him and my son were eyeing. Each, my son, I told my son to stand in the car. They were eyeing each other. And my son jumps out the car. And then they, they exchanged words. And I ushered my son back in the car. How old is your son? My son is 23. Okay. Young. What is your yeah. version of what happened there? Okay, when they came to the house, his son was in the car. Mm -hmm. I was talking with her. I said, ma'am, I tried to work this out, and I, instead of going, we're not finna sit here and tongue wrestle. I'm not finna tongue wrestle with you. I'll see I'm you in court. I'm not what? Tongue wrestle. That means I ain't finna wrestling? sit back. Right, I ain't finna go I back. I love that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm not finna go back I'm gonna use forward. that. I'm not even gonna give you credit. <laughs> <Nah>. Go ahead. <laughs> so I did. I, I said, I'm, I'm not finna go back and forth arguing. I said, well, I'll just see you in court. So she That's comes not, in there. Oh, why would, the, but why man, would this get to that? Don't talk to each oh. other. Why would this get to that stage? Why? I don't it, understand. Did you want it or didn't you? Can I, can I, can I why say Why wouldn't you just pay the 400 bucks like you're supposed to? He was trying to pay. Why is your answer always, I'm fixing to pay instead of I'm paying? No, it was If right. you wanted to pay by check, it, why didn't you mail was, a check four days ago? I'm going to clear by now. Because they, I mean, they sit there. It's now week, they got a it's like week that, four or five. The agent ain't even working, and I know good and well he's not going to put no money into an eight six Wait, I, I'm not going to tell you again okay. not to talk to him directly. He's not going to put you no money into it. You know when you bought it, that thing right. wasn't working. I, I was you the second owner of the car. Why did you buy it? Why did you buy that hunk of junk? I was the second owner of the car. He was the third. He just got that car. I been had the car first. Wait, 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 what? Yeah, I had the car first. Wait, that car? Yeah, that Car. Get out! Yes. Let me tell you. Wait, I had the car stop. first. Did you even know that when you bought it? No, I passed by and I was I've been looking for the car for almost two years. You've been looking for the your your very own car or that type of car? That car. Does it make sense that the defendant offered the plaintiff the money but the plaintiff refused? No, that doesn't make sense at all because why would he accept the car and then refuse to pay? 
It doesn't make any sense to me either. Does it make sense to you? Not at all. It makes sense to anybody here? No. And you're not even old enough to drive in you get <laughs> Jeez. Going inside the courtroom. All right, let's talk about your lawsuit, okay? okay? Because we have two things going on. Okay. Number one, you want your $400, but that's not good enough for you now because you feel that they violated the agreement. I, again, am enforcing my contract at this time. I'm asking to. I want my car back, but you Yeah, but how do you figure that under any stretch of anybody's imagination, it would be $2,000? Um, they've been in the engine now, so, Your Honor, who knows what's wrong yeah, with it I'm now? Yeah, but I'm sorry. Okay, stop. The contract that you signed says as follows. Yes. You pay me in two weeks. Yes, or I pay me, or give or my Or I keep the deposit... And you return the car. And if, so if they don't return the car, that's you, what get, I'm asking for. you get the deposit, which you already have in your pocket, mm -hmm. and the value of the car. That's what I'm asking. Okay. Because you, the best evidence I have of mm -hmm. the market value of that car mm -hmm. is what it sold for, you know, 20 days ago. Okay. You know what I mean? That's fine. So my, my thing is, Your Honor, what I really, really, truly, and when I did my small claim, I really just want my car back. So you also miss the car? This got to be something. Does this my car point, cook no. dinner? <laughs> what does this car do for you guys? The cook point dinner? is, no, the point is, at this point, I want to enforce my contract, as I stated to them Where's before. Where's the car now? It's parked in front of my house. Okay. But it was in the shop. It was supposed to be at the uh, shop. I'm not going to get stopped. Stop, stop, stop. But you've done work to the car, right? No, well, I, I Did stopped Did you take the it. engine out I or stopped, something? I stopped, I stopped No, everything. not you stopped. What did you do nothing, while you had it? Nothing. It was it was sitting there, and then when I, I got the call and I got the papers, I told him, no, bring it back. Did you ever watch Let's Make a Deal? <laughs> okay. Yes, ma'am. You tell me whether you want what's behind the curtain or what's behind door number one. <laughs> Either... I will enter an order that says, because the title's still in your name, and I will enter an order that says that you've both, you know, I, I have heard this case, uh, and I have decided that the ownership of the car reverts to you and that they breach the contract, and then you go and you pick up the car peacefully, or I will order them to pay you um, $700, which is the value of the car, and of course you already keep the 300 that you are, because that's the value of your contract, to have the, the value of the, of the car, and you already kept the 300. It will be your choice, because yes, the contract you entered into, which they agreed to, was they would pay the rest of the money in two weeks, and that didn't happen, and the extension wasn't respected, and I agree with you, they breached the contract. So which do you prefer? I'll go ahead and accept the seven hundred dollars because I don't know what they've done to the car. Um, I think that's wise. What would happen when I, I get think that's it back. wise? I'm going to order you to pay uh, seven hundred dollars, and uh, unless and until you do, you don't get the title to that car, and then we have a different problem. So that's how it's going to be. Verdict for the plaintiff. The plaintiff takes the money, and the defendant's got that car. So what do you think of this? I mean. What? <laughs> Come on, what happened here? I guess it came down to the agreement, you know. Mm -hmm. I guess uh, the written agreement, but, you know. What, you, what have you done to the car? Nothing. It's yours now, so Zero. You, I nothing didn't get at nothing all. to it yet. Yeah, nothing. Right. But I, I might well start now because um, I got to give the money now. You know? Yeah, now you can. But yeah. why do you love that car so much? What is it about that particular car? What it's is a classic. It? Ain't that like a classic? Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's easy to fix. <laughs> You're messing with that GPS. All right, head right around the okay. corner this way. All right. all right, so step on in here. And so Monty Hall offered you the curtain or the box, and you took the, the money. <laughs> yes, sir. Why'd you do that? Because I don't know the condition of the vehicle, and if I were to go pick it up, who knows what they're going to do to it before I get the vehicle, so might as well. well what if he hadn't done anything to it? Would you want it well, back or still want the money? If he had not done anything, and I can guarantee that, I would have taken the vehicle back, but I can't guarantee that, so I'm not going to bank on it. Well, he's got his classic car and you got the bucks. Yes, Everybody's happy? Yeah, I'm happy. Harvey? So here's the deal. When you sign a contract, there are remedies for breaching the contract. And in this case, the remedy is repoing the car. 